Oh, my bad. What's up, guys? So today we're gonna be doing a bicep and back workout. Now I'm starting off with um, some dumbbell curls. My bad. I forgot to forgot to tell you guys what I was doing. I was just so focused on coming in early in the morning and getting a workout. It's currently like around 10:30, so we're, I'm aiming to finish the workout by 11:30 and then do my cardio and then head back home and get started on some shoes. And I just have a productive day. So we're in here getting work in early in the morning. Rise and grind. Let's get it. Man, we're sweating a lot as usual in the Alpha Gym. It's just so humid. It's not even like hot outside yet. Like there's clouds everywhere, but it's just so humid. It's where like you just can't breathe. It feels like you're getting choked by your own sweat and water. Like it's, it's, it's disgusting. But anyways, I love it though. I love it. It's not. Dis it's disgusting, but I love it. So the first back move. The back. The first. Ugh, damn. The first back move we're gonna do is gonna be some, some machine rows. So, just hammer strength rows. <sighs> back to back to back. 45 second rest in between each set. Let's get it. Man, we are flying through this workout. I don't know if it's because it's early in the morning, I'm just kind of hyped up and I want to get the workout through, but we're just flying through, it's a good pump today. So basically this workout's gonna be back, bicep, back, bicep, back, bicep. So we just did back. Now we're moving on to the bicep portion. Not the bicep portion, but we're doing a back workout. Back, uh, bicep exercise right now. Can't talk today. All right, so what we're doing for biceps right now is gonna be some spider curls. And I love, 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 love spider curls. It's probably my favorite bicep exercise. So you guys, I mean like, I love it. You guys need to try it out. It's basically like a hanging concentrated curl, but it just feels amazing. So we're gonna do about four sets of 12. Let's go, let's, let's get started. I don't know if you guys can hear the music in the background, but oh my, yeah, oh my, is that lady? I love the song. All right, so, anyways, we're doing some chest supported T bar rows. We're gonna do four sets of like 12 to 15 reps, man. Whew, so tired, so tired. Feels amazing. Let's get it. Yeah, uh, I love the song. Uh. One dance is playing, so I'm kind of like jigging. It's like Nigerian music, and reminds me of Nigerian. Music. Baby, I like it so. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to some incline alternating double curls. So this is gonna probably finish up the bicep portion of the workout. Like it's gonna be the back, uh, life bicep movement, and then after that we're gonna finish up with a back movement, and then do like 45 minutes of cardio. Oh yeah, and I'm super setting that with some dumbbell hammer curls. Okay, so we've reached the end of this workout. The last thing we have to do is some seated cable rows. <sighs> We're just ending it. Like I'm, I'm so ready to be done with this workout, go back home and get something to eat after I do cardio, of course. 
damn it. Like, I was thinking like I was gonna go home right after this and get something to eat, but then I forgot about cardio. It's all good. We can watch some Naruto while we're doing it, so it should go by pretty fast. All right guys, so we just wrapped up cardio. I'm gonna show you guys how sweaty I am. So, I'm gonna squeeze the sweat out of my shirt. Let me just get them right here. Get in there. Dang, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. And I got I brought like a different shirt to put on too, just because like it's so hot and humid in here. And you gotta be be prepared. I'm also wearing like, these are swimming trunks too. Like these are kind of swimming trunks, so I wore them because I know like I'm gonna be sweating a lot. So oh. I can't be the only one that hates driving next to these things, man. Reminds me of Final Destination. Oh no, you saw y'all see this pole? I've seen the Final Destination movie, you ain't gonna catch me slipping. You see that man in the movie like it just like slid and like flew into the uh flew into the windshield and just like killed the dude there's no way i would drive behind that someone's just waiting to catch a hell drive behind this man that's dangerous so we're here at the grocery store for the second day in a row because yesterday i forgot to pick up a couple monsters and also i want to check out i want to probably pick up some vanilla abstract um is it actually yeah vanilla abstract and coconut abstract um i forgot to get that yesterday as well so yeah here for the second day in a row Man, it's almost becoming like a routine. Okay, so I guess this is what I'm looking for. Got vanilla right here, and let's see, coconut. Okay, cool. Okay, so I haven't tried this flavor before, so I think this is maybe one I'm drinking later. But I got my two favorite, or my favorite flavor. I don't even know what this flavor is called. Let me see. Ultra red, I guess. Yeah, ultra red. So. Here we go, got the monsters, and then also picked up some honey walnut glaze, some glaze honey walnut pieces, and some glaze pecans. So, this is going to be for my oatmeal. And then we got the vanilla abstract and coconut. The imitation coconut flavor. Breakfast is served. Two cups of egg whites, 10 ounces of ground turkey, the 93.7, and then oatmeal with cranberries blueberries, strawberries, uh, and glazed walnuts. This all looks too good, man. Cannot wait to eat it. It's my first time trying the Blue Monster, so let's see how this tastes. <sighs> all right. Oh, that's good. I like that. It's a close second. It's still a close second to the Ultra Red. What's this called? Yeah, the Ultra Blue, okay. Yeah, it's, Ultra Blue tastes pretty good. It's pretty good. I just got back from downstairs. I just finished doing cardio. 15 more minutes added on to the 30 minutes I did earlier this morning. So that adds up to 45 minutes total cardio. Now, I've been like from like around two to like what time is it right now? From two to from two to like around 11:30, I've been working on these shoes and I'm basically finished. I just need to um, add a couple of details and finish coloring this up. But let me show you guys the vans that I've been working on. All right. So this is a Scooby-Doo themed shoe on this shoe right here. So we have Scooby-Doo right here, Scooby-Doo and Shaggy, you know what I'm saying? Right there, you got Scooby. And uh, it has the mystery machine on the side over here. Now this shoe is basically an evolution of Bulbasaur to Ivysaur. No, Bulbasaur to Venusaur to Ivysaur. So we got Bulbasaur on the front, looking all cute and whatnot. And then we got Ivysaur and then What's his, I just said it. How did I forget his name? Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, no, Bulbasaur, Venusaur, and Ivysaur, I think. That's how it goes, yeah. Just need to color him in and then add a couple of details like Pokeballs and little things like that, vines everywhere, just because, you know, they're a plant-based Pokemon. So just got to add all that stuff in. These are coming in really dope. I should finish these like early, early in the morning, like around um, six o'clock in the morning because I have to edit this video out and then I'll go to sleep and then wake up and do this again. I just love making shoes for people, man. Like I made a pair of shoes for Oz. 
Russell, thank you again so much for doing this, man, especially on the short time frame I gave you. Uh, it was a long shot. I didn't even know if I was going to be able to get a hold of you, but you made this happen. Lord knows they turned out beautifully, and I just wanted to do this for my bus bud here, so thank you so much. Yeah, seriously, like, I when I first opened them, I'm sure you'll see the video when he <laughs> sends it to you, but what a surprise. Like, you literally have all my favorite things on there, and awesome work. Can't thank this guy enough. <laughs> I don't know how he made it happen, and I don't know how he kept it a secret from me, but it worked out awesome, so thanks a lot, Russell. And like, I just love doing this, man. I love doing it. I love like just giving people that confidence, like put on a pair of shoes and like they love it. It's dope to them. And like that in turn just makes you feel good. You could go, you could go to the gym in these shoes and just have like a PR, or just the fact that like you, you have your favorite things on these shoes, so it just gives me a good feeling knowing that I can give that feeling to other people. So guys, I love doing this. I really enjoy it. Like I really have fun just spending time like listening to podcasts and drawing on these shoes and trying to get creative as possible I can, as possible as I can with these shoes. And it's just, it's a fun process guys. It's a fun process. So this video is coming to an end guys. I need to start editing this video. So if you guys like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Get better today. I'm out.